Hey guys, forgive my tired look. I just wanted to quickly tell the story of this morning before I posted this vlog. Uh, I was actually trying to recover from a pretty bad migraine and was in bed. And um, Curtis came over and I heard him come in and I hollered at him and told him to come down to talk to me. And um, I didn't have my contacts in. I was in my dark room. I have curtains, so when I do have migraines, I am in pitch black. So, anyways, he opened the curtain and says, Mom, look what I brought home. And I don't, I've got really bad vision. And so, when my eyes opened, I could not really see anything other than shadows and things moving around. And, um, anyway, I was like, what is that? And he goes, sit up and look, Mom. It's pretty cool. And as uh, he co was coming closer, I could see the shape of something moving, but it was beyond his hands. And instantly I knew what it was. And anyway, it was a snake. And I knew that. And I screamed at him and told him to get out of my room with that. And um, I don't know what he did with it initially then, but... Um, yeah, it was totally insane. So he left the house after, um, a horrible conversation on the phone that he had. And, um, he took the nasty snake with him and I ended up needing to go pick him up. Can't remember what the deal was, but anyway, so the vlog that starts is me picking him up at his apartment after he had come over with the snake. Anyway, so I just wanted to tell you that little story because you don't get that part of the story just watching the vlog. I don't say anything about it. Um, but yeah, that was a freaky thing to see, especially when I don't have my contacts in and my vision is bad enough that I can't see, uh, I can see colors, I can see partial shapes, but, um, it was really <sighs> a scary thing, especially because I hate, 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 hate snakes. Anyways, the other part of the story is when we came home, uh, I went and dropped Curtis off to donate plasma. And we had put the snake in the back of the car. And Austin put a blanket over it by the heater. And we figured it wouldn't move. It didn't. Um, EB was walking on it. <laughs> Luckily, she didn't get eaten. Holy cow. That was not the plan, was to have all the dogs plus some snake in the car. That was not the plan. But anyway, um, Austin brought this snake back home, and we were going to take it over to Adams and see if he could, if he wanted it or knew someone that did. And uh, the, the kids were home, so I came into the house, and Bridger and Amberly were home, and I hollered for them, and right as Amberly was coming down the stairs... Austin was coming up to the door with it wrapped around him and Emberly went berserk. <laughs> she cried instantly. She ran downstairs, was sobbing and freaking out. It took her a good five minutes for her to calm down. And then the part where the vlog, you see um, her sitting on the couch next to it. That's when she had come upstairs from her um, freak out session and her trying to get composure of herself I felt really bad, but we have to, um, the th I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't understand where <laughs> my kids are completely, well, maybe just the oldest. Ah, <sighs> anyways, this kind of stuff happens all the time. I guess that's why you watch our vlogs, right? <laughs> anyway, that's the story about the snake, the parts that you don't see. Um, and at the end, um, Curtis came over after he got done and took the snake home. I don't know what the heck he's doing with it or what the deal is tonight. Hopefully he doesn't sleep with it again. I have no idea what he's going to do with it. Anyway, so that's the story of the snake. <laughs>
yeah, so Kurt has this snake. I'll tell you what else he did with it, but I'm a little freaked out and I'm supposed to let him in my car with, back oh, this thing's like... get in the back, all the way in the back. It's and it's fine. freaking, calm down. It's skin is coming off. It's peeling. Which means it's on reek. No, it means it's freaking shedding. Oh. Now he's gonna get bit in the face. Oh my gosh. You have got to get in the back. Oh, yeah, All the way in the back. I won't let it do anything. Okay, let's go. Its mouth is like. Dude, that one's tiny compared to when we used to have it, no, Dad. That one was skinny. Why did really? you bring this thing yeah. back to with you? I never went anywhere. I found this one. You're a liar. Don't yeah. lie. You find a you found the Bermuda Python in Utah. <laughs> I didn't go to Utah. Oh my god. Okay, let's get out of here. I can't drive with that thing it's behind fine. me. It's fine, I'm not. It's fine, it's not gonna do anything. What are you gonna do with it? We're gonna go to McKee's and try and sell it. I thought you already did that. Now you haven't gone yet. They don't take full grown dogs. Tell, hey, tell me how it sized you up. No. Huh? It laid next to me flat, straight in a straight line when I woke up. Huh? It laid next to me flat, straight in a straight line when I woke up. Oh my gosh. Never a dull moment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what did that guy say? I don't know. That's creepy. What are you barking at? <laughs> On the wall. <laughs> hey! What are they? Kelly, look. What are they? In the Chubbuck store where he's going to try here, because that's where they told him to bring it. That thing is nasty. What the crap? Him? Possibly. Go get a stick. Why? Give me that. Give me those animals. Evie, get hey, away. Get out of here. Why? Huh? I'll show Why? You Does he have venom? No. It's... They can't have venom. You're going to bite me in the hand. Yeah, that's not very smart. Tight. Just leave him alone. He's gonna squeeze you. He's like, don't <laughs> cry his mouth open. What don't do you do that? No. That's freaking disgusting. Do you want to run over and ask him about it before we take it out there? Yeah. Go ask what's his name. He wants it. Okay. What is it? A python? Yes. Mm -hmm. Grab him right there. He's not going to hurt you, though. When you, when you get a snake like that, that's where you hold it. Like a poisonous snake. Hold it so, we're going to take it over to Adam's house. This is the not same person that Amberly gave her rat to. You always have to bring that up, don't you? <laughs> We're about to give it a snake to him, a snake. You know, it's funny because oh I think my, my snake's gosh. actually longer than this one, but the head's smaller. Yeah. Because mine's not as old. This one's must be pretty old. <laughs> you guys know how long he's had it around? Well, they've only had it over there for a couple of weeks. Oh. And did they get it because it was one taken care of very well, or just they didn't take care of it very well? I, I want to no guess idea. they didn't I, take care of it. They don't really take care of pets very well, they don't so take that's care of anything thinking. very well. Can I catch it? Yeah. Don't feel Careful. like anything. He's not mad. He just doesn't know what he's doing or where he's at. Yeah, something happened to him. He got attacked by something. 
Could it have been the hot. rabbit that he ate? Could have. Before he ate it? <laughs> That's insane. It's hard to get really the size of how big the head is going. Put your hand next to it, maybe. Don't. Okay, and then just put your hand like under. Look, uh, front of its face looks weird if you okay, look now closely. Uh, now, uh, Mommy, I'm under his nuts. Oh, what? Dude. What do you say? I'm under his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like there's small hairs, and like the front one kind of looks like a rat nose a little bit. Oh, because it's pink. Oh, he's glowing. Oh, weird. Oh. Front of it's kind of.